we're doing muscadines. And we have a breeding program in muscadines and we're gonna have two releases coming out this year, which is a first for us. Our first muscadine release and we're really excited about that. Yeah, this is gonna be one of our new releases. This is a fresh, fresh market or a fresh eating variety. It's got really good flavor, but um, I'm not always the right person to ask because I think they all taste pretty good, so. Yeah, we're real excited to have something official coming out from the university that we can tell people. That has been developed by Dr. Margaret Worthington, who is the fruit breeder who directs the breeding program um, here at the Fruit Research Station. And she has been very dedicated to developing a more thin-skinned, firmer muscadine that's more palatable. So we finally have one that's ready for release and that should be coming out next fall. I don't know if I would call it a thin skin necessarily, but it's not quite as thick skinned as some of the older varieties. Uh, it's still one that's a little messy to eat. You know, the newer varieties we're working on um, are supposedly going to have seedless and thin skin, something you can eat more like a grape. This is still one where you're going to be doing a little bit of spitting and stuff. Dr. Worthington always described them. She wants to make them more of an indoor fruit and not a, an outdoor fruit. So that's the um, goal with the seedless um, breeding side of the program. I'm really excited about our first muscadine releases. We've had the program going on since 2006, so a long time coming. Um, you know, muscadine grapes are my favorite crop, hands down. Uh, my favorite crop to work with and my favorite crop to eat. You know, it's a really good option for growers in the state of Arkansas, I think, because they are very disease resistant, uh, really well adapted to our climate. The limitation is cold hardiness, and we've really been working hard on improving the cold hardiness with these newest releases. So I think they'll do good for a broader population in the state of Arkansas. To me, hands down, I'd rather eat a muscadine than a Vitus vinifera standard table grape. Uh, so we're just trying to work on improving the texture too, so that it's something that is a little bit more familiar to a broader consumer base.